Good day and welcome to the channel. This short video is a companion video to one we'll put a link in the top right hand corner for right now, which is our full review of the Dell 5450 laptop. That's the one, yes, that's the one with the Intel Core Ultra CPU. That's a cool feature and you might want to check that video out. However, this video is about upgrading this unit. This is uh, shipped from Dell with 16 gig of RAM, not enough, and a quarter terabyte uh, SSD, not big enough. So we are going to upgrade it right now. So what you have to do is take the eight screws out of the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there we go, and um, just loosen it off. Then use a credit card uh, to pry around until it pops open. And that does take a bit of work. There we go. Now we've been over this in the previous video, all of the components, but we'll go over them very quickly here for you. Uh, three cell battery, this is the 54 uh, kilowatt hour. There's a, a 42 watt hour. There's also a fast charge and a slow charge. This is the regular slow charge. If you have to replace it, it's easy. One, two, three screws, four, five screws, sorry. Uh, and the connector there, just pull it out, off you go. Speakers, uh, memory, we're going to change. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6E. This is an Intel Core Ultra uh, 5 125U. And that is the uh, WAN card uh, for inserting a SIM card. Okay, so let's get to replacing the memory first. The interesting thing about the memory is that it is DDR5, not DDR4. So we purchased some TimeTech memory. We've been using TimeTech quite a lot lately. Uh, all of this, by the way, is completely unsponsored. So if you have any uh, thoughts that we're telling you something that's not true, uh, wrong. This is all just honest. So you just pry these apart on the sides, pull it out on a 30 degree angle and off you go. You can see that this memory is a TimeTech 64 gig uh, kit. Pop it in. Yep. And as you can see on the screen, we bought the fastest version of this that's possible. So that's the memory upgraded. Let's change the SSD. We have to remove the screw from the end, screw from the side. Any small Phillips screwdriver will do. It doesn't have to be a specialized one like this. Green, anything green handle will be fine. And you can see that there's a thermal pad on here. Now this doesn't pop up, it just slides out. Slide it out, there, it's out. And what I want to put in is this uh, 2280 SSD. In other words, 22 millimeters by 80 millimeters, but as you can see here, won't fit. So I have to go with something tiny, like this little 2230. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again from TimeTech, again, unsponsored. We've just liked their product over the last year or two. We haven't had a single failure yet, so yay. Put in. The heat shield goes in on a slight angle. There's a pin there for it to hook onto. That's it. Put the back uh, cover back on. I don't screw things down until after I've got it up and running, just in case something's not happy, but you can screw it down now if you wish. Windows 11 on this stick. Pop it in. Power it up. And this should uh, come up with an error message telling us that the memory has changed. That took a very long time to come up, like three minutes, very long time. Memory changed, continue. And you can see it's showing slot A is 32 gig and slot B has 32 gig for memory, so that's good. And because this is an Intel Core Ultra 5, there's actually an additional core count now. So there's two performance cores, which gives you four threads. Uh, there are eight efficiency cores, and there are two low power efficiency cores. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, as far as storage goes, let's see if the disk showed up. It did. Our two terabyte time tech drive is in and happy. All right, let's reboot. I'll press F12 because I want to load off of the USB stick. One time boot, there it goes, yay. We're going to have to load drivers from Dell, so let's get those. 
Okay, so to get drivers for the Dell 5450, simply search for Dell 5450. So there we go. It takes us right to the 5450 drivers. And we do not want it to find it for us. We want to storage, download, and Let's open the file. I've already plugged the USB stick in that I'm using to do the Windows 11 install with. Let's click Extract. Where to? Well, I want to extract it to that USB disk. I want to make a new folder called Drivers. Let's put it there. That was pretty fast. Let's make sure it actually went. Yep. Load driver, browse, USB stick, driver. There it is, under VMD controller. Click Next. In case you're wondering, Intel RST is Intel Rapid Storage Technology, and there it is. So that was the correct controller, and we now have our two terabyte TimeTech drive there. Click Next. As you can see, it says not connected here because the Wi-Fi uh, isn't uh, set up. It doesn't have a driver for it. Now we have a video that we'll put in the top right-hand corner showing you how to load the driver, but I'm not going to bother with that because I've got an ethernet port. I'm just gonna plug in, it's a heck of a lot faster. All right, so I completed the install, uh, just mostly by clicking next, and then I uh, made it look like Windows 10 by moving the menus over and things like that. Uh, but basically, at this point, what I'm doing is running uh, Windows Update. There's a lot of updates for this, uh, it, specifically uh, uh, running it on the uh, cable. I was able to uh, download, just from Windows Update, the uh, Wi-Fi 6E card. And yes, it's now updating the video driver, so it's gonna take a second, there we go. All right, so as you can see, this upgrade is not that challenging. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, really. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca, that's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below, and if we don't get a hold of you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.